Okay, my morning routine revealed. Okay, uh, wake up about four o'clock, which was like a half hour ago. Take a wash. Get the air conditioning. Oh, before, uh, when I come back in, um, I don't actually sleep in this room. I sleep on the couch. But I go to bed about eight thirty. So you, know, you go figure it four, and then I get like four hours sleep at least, right? Uh, but actually, I woke up at about one thirty. So I still got my four hours sleep, and I did some stuff like eating. Blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I meditate now. Blah, blah, blah. That's where I'm right now. Okay, then I take a wash, right? And uh, and I, I turn the air conditioner on in this room because there's some weird thing about this air conditioner in here. It's like, I, I don't like air conditioning. I usually do fans, but if you do the fan, it's just some, but it's a dust within. But it's, it's, it's very old condition. So you got to do this. Now I clean up, blow out the room, which is what I've done. Because we in New York, it's pretty hot. Okay. Oh. Do, 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 do. Uh, then I uh, then I do stuff right. Uh, uh, first thing I do, my barber. Look, I'm not really, or you say, vain enough like that. I'm not really into whatever it is, but he insisted, right? Because you know, whatever. I don't know why he says it. Things for the beard, or whatever it is. But he insists I get this uh, black castor oil, or Jamaican black castor oil. So this is this is the best one they had. I don't have money, but I spend it on when I do spend money. So like good for hair, skin, eyelashes, eyelash, eyelash, brows, beards, and nails. So I take this. This is in the morning after I, after I've taken a wash, and I use my thumb, my uh, left hand thumb, and then I just put it on the scalp. Now I see here's a trick. Like I said, I'm not really. I don't really care about the hair. But my barber wants me to do this, so I do it for my barber. Let's see what happens after a time, if this thing really works. Let's put a little bit on, I don't care about that. And then, you know, it's for your beard too, but I'm not into that either. So, so okay. So this is, I don't think this is that expensive. Well, I get confused because I'm living in South Africa. <laughs> you know, go back and forth for the exchanges. Uh, then when I do that, then what I will do... As I will get my, well, not right now, well, not right now, but uh, this beard comb, see, beard comb there, but uh, I like the beard comb, I got it from Kenya Air, but again, I'm not into all that stuff like that, okay, now, then uh, I take a lime, piece of, piece of lime, right? And uh, because I just washed it, whatever have you, I use it as a as a deodorant. I don't use the uh, commercial deodorants. So I use the lime. Put that lime in it. Put that lime all in there, right? It's just. I mean, I didn't. Well, it's just lime. That's just dry. And then I get. Then I take a. a well, uh, what I, I now my new concoction is uh, this uh, unsweetened almond cashew. And macadamia nut beverage, right? And I take that and I pour that in a little glassy there. Pour that in the glass. About a, you know, not about a eighth, you know, about a fourth, but whatever it is, a glass. Then I take the coconut water. And uh, let's let's say. Let's say it's one part this uh one part the almond cashew and macadamia nut and two part coconut water like that put that in there i rather like the taste but here's the trick remember the uh the lime i just used i just you know cut the wedge of lime and just you know do like that da, 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 da. well then i take it and i squeeze the rest of the lime into the juice but brother, what's the matter with you? Didn't you just use it? It's my body. And oops. And this is my morning drink. Hmm. For the duration. I take that with my um with my um pills, but I, I take the pills later be you know, like about six o'clock or five thirty one walking out now because we have uh we call that first light that's like five something and sun is up at 5 30 or something like that then i put, put a shirt on or we have a bottom on 
because I didn't want to show you all no bottoms, right? <laughs> Nobody want to see your bottom. Something like that. In New York, a lot of brothers be walking around, you know. <laughs> that's what they walk around with. Um, and I have to get ready for, what else do I want to show you? Oh, I have to get ready for um, my recording. Put on my, uh, my shakers. This was made for me in India. And that's a story. That's a really good story. I'll tell you sometimes, this is what I walk around with. This is my this is my theme music. Talk about India. Hey, did you know that we say theme of the, well, you know, look, black culture is so wonderful, right? Well, we should, okay, black culture is so wonderful. Okay, now you remember the first time you really had theme music, you know, distinctive theme music was with Chef. <laughs> Chef. Chef, you know, um, Richard Roundtree. Fun fact. Richard Roundtree, they had picked him for chef a while ago, but when Negro Ensemble Company came, uh, they they were training people. But he, well, how we came, he was in the intermediate class of Negro Ensemble Company, which was my class, for just a second. <laughs> Not long. Then he went to a, I think, I think what was it? Yeah, there was an advanced class, and then there was the, the, the repertory company. And I think a lot of people in the repertory company is in the advanced class, somehow like, somehow like that. They had called us the intermediate class, because right when they started us, they started another class. So it was the beginning class. What I'm trying to say, Richard Roundtree started. Started with us. <laughs> anyway, then he became, you know, whatever. He used to be a Duke model. You know, the Duke the hairspray? Well, he, that's, that's where I got him from. Da, 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 da. Okay, whatever. But the theme music. So now here, when I was in India, this is interesting. When I was in India, you know, I went to the movies. And you know, when the, when the hero comes on, and blast that music. Ba -da 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 -da. I'm going to... Hey, where the, oh, you know, all them, all them so-called black exploitation. Oh, the, hey, NAACP, man, you all, you Negroes. Well, we all Negroes, you know. Anyway, they cause a lot of problems, all right, you know. Anyway, I won't get into that right now. But, um, so my thing, we're in these, because I'm audio dramatist. People don't understand. It's also a warning to all those old white ladies who try to get in front of me. It's water. To, I'm covered. Right? And, uh, anyway, it's a, it's a whole other story. There's a lot of stories around this. I like the sound. Let me just put it that way. Uh, uh, so I'm getting ready for uh, my morning. Uh, I got every morning. I read out of the Gullah Bible. So I'm getting ready for I think I told you everything that I, that I do so far. Right? Uh, the pills will come later. Uh, and so now I have to get ready for my reading of the, from the Gullah Bible. Oh, my stuff is in here, right? This is my ecumenical <laughs> collar. Oh, oh, oh. Um, the thing is down here. I think I just go right into the Gullah reading, why not? Um, and uh, this is the ecumenical uh, hat I wear. This is a since I'm a child of Ogun, Ogun uh, is West African. It's like uh, Ogun's colors that came up. Through, wow, Ogun's colors. Now nah, I keep on getting this messed up. I think in in, in Nigeria is blue, and um, when it goes to Condomble in Brazil, it's blue and white. I think could be reversed. But when it, when it came up through the, the Cuban strain, when it came to North America, it was green, black, with a bit of red. Right. So there you go. <laughs> this is my Ogun cap. I put it on like this, ecumenical. I try to look, uh, you know, like those ridges. You no, know, no, those. I grew up Catholic, so you know, I'm used to the people with the high, with the high thing. You know, I say I grew up Catholic until about 17. Then I left, and the, the priest came over to the house. They said, "Well, blah blah blah." We talked, we talked a little bit about Malcolm X, talked about that's why and all that stuff. So anyway, it don't matter. I don't care how it looks. So that comes in. Then this is going to be the collar. I'll tell you about that in a second. Not the color, but, you know, the draping or whatever. This is a kente cloak. Kente cloak comes in all kinds of designs, you know. I don't know. But this is a rare one. You can't get this. Rare. I do rare things. Then, of course, I got the Gullah Bible. Because I do the Gullah reading. Because I had this, uh, I got this idea, this idea. I got this thing where, um, you know, uh, on my mother's side. It's, uh, we got, uh, well, Gullah Geechee, my, my great grandfather, my great, uh, my great grandfather was, uh, you know, Gullah Geechee. My great grandmother was, uh, Mohawk. And so, um, well, well, that's, that's the story. 
Um, so at some particular point, I'm going like, well, I don't know nothing about the color culture, you know, but how do you enter, you know, how do you enter, how do you understand something, right? And usually through, through you know, hanging out with a woman like that. Uh, or, you know, or you go through the music, music is another way, and the, or the reading. See, when 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 uh, when the the enslaved was the newly freed enslaved, um, they the way they learned to read is they used the Bible because that was the only thing around. You know, the King James version of the, of the Bible. You know, the, the word with, with the Marlowe, the Marlowe kind of language. You know, Shakespeare kind of language. You know, and so therefore they um, that's what they did. That's how they learned to read and write. But then they wrote their own Bible. Well, this is the New Testament. The New Testament, the New Testament, right? It's of the, uh, well, the Gullah culture. And this is what I read out of. I'll get that, I'll do the real opening like that. So I'm almost ready. Now, usually I have my reading glasses. However, <laughs> I left them in South Africa. Now my, when I'm there, my wife loves, loves them. She wears them. She's, doing, she, she's making our home. We, we live in a village. We, we had moved to another village. We were in one location, and then we moved from there. We're in another location, or another location, a real village, right? And she's doing her thing. Anyway, but see those glasses she has, she has on? Those are actually my reading glasses right there. You see them? You see them like that? I ain't got them. However, I'm at my brother's house, and he... He's a retired professor, you know, doctor, you know, professor kind of thing. Hence all the books, always reading. So luckily for me, he has this. See? So I can use this for the readings of, of, while I'm here. Uh, okay, so shall we start? Yeah, we'll start the gullah right now. Here we go. Maybe I should stop because I should the morning routine. Let me start the morning routine and I go on. And, um, and, you know, whatever. Okay? So, check you later. Well, I have to check you later because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the trains to bed, letting you know what I do in the mornings to prepare for a day. <laughs>